Well, good Sunday morning. I'm Jaden Jefferson and welcome to this week's Community Focus. Joining me now is State Representative Lisa Sebecki to talk about House Bill 292. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So first, give people an idea of what HB 292 is. HB 292 is an Electric Vehicle Study Commission. Um, it's a bill that I introduced out the State House. We've passed it out of the Transportation Committee, passed it out of the, off the House floor, and um, we are waiting for the Senate to make their movement. So I'm hoping that after the November 8th election and we go back to work down at the State House that we can get this moving and get this enacted in the state of Ohio. So what this commission would do, would um, this would establish a group of folks that are that are in this industry to sit around the table and talk about the industry and because electric vehicles are coming you know we just had a, an amazing announcement at GM powertrain and um, my thought behind this is alongside the state of Indiana this already passed this and already started acting it and the state of Michigan has already passed this and started to enact it so we in the state of Ohio need to start looking at electric vehicles. It's coming, it's coming, regardless of what some people think, it is coming. You know, Ford has said, we're gonna have, um, by uh, 2035, um, we're gonna have all electric vehicles. Um, so, and the other auto industries are saying the same thing. So we need to prepare our state. And what does that mean? That's, that's preparing um, folks in the industry to how, you know, where do we need to put our focus at? Is it, say, the high school level and the career tech level that we adjust there to prepare for, the, uh, for this new wave of how automotive industry is moving? And you had mentioned that that big GM announcement that was made, really something that is going to be a big investment in our community about electric vehicles. So what was your initial reaction to hearing that news? I, I was really, really just ecstatic um, that the quarter of a million dollars, uh, three quarters of a million dollars, excuse me, is being spent right in my house district, uh, right here in Toledo, Ohio, right here with Toledo grit. Uh, and because, and that really just shows um, the grit that we have in the auto industry in Toledo and Lucas County. And one cool thing about HB 292, it's a bipartisan bill. And this is something that people on both sides of the aisle can get behind. So what does that mean to you knowing that this is something that both parties feel is necessary here in the state to have, you know, this electric vehicle, I guess, renaissance that we're having be oversaw on the state level? Sure. Well, I think that um, a majority of my colleagues um, in passing out of the House will leave unanimously um, agree that we need to start looking at this. Ohio needs to be at the beginning, not at the end. And I'm afraid that if we can't get this past this GA, that we're gonna be at the end because other states are starting to think electric vehicle, think how they can bolster their state and be prepared for this next movement. I mean, again, think about 2035. Yeah. You know, that's not that long from now. I know it sounds like a long <laughs> ways from now, um, but no, that I won't even be 70 by then. So that's not that long uh, of a road. It definitely is not, and time really has been moving fast. And I think about COVID-19 and how that was, you know, two years ago when we first had the first reported cases here in the country. So time really does move fast. And unfortunately, you know, climate change is an issue that we're dealing with right now. And the response to it hasn't been bipartisan. There have been a lot of politics being played. So why is it important that we're, you know, looking at electric vehicles and saying, okay, this is something that we need to get done because it's for the future of Toledo, Northwest Ohio, the state, the country, the world. Sure. Well, and with Detroit just right up the road from us, you know, like 45 minutes up the road where the big three are housed at. Uh, and we've always been a part, a, a, a partner in the state of Ohio. So we need to continue that partnership. And this is preparing our workforce. This is re preparing our state. Um, you know, think about the mechanic that's working on the vehicle today. It's not going to be that type of vehicle that's going to be in the future. So start preparing that workforce. But it's putting those, the right people at the table. Uh, and we were very thoughtful about who we had at that table um, that's going to be coming around and, and having that discussion because we didn't want to leave anybody out. Um, so putting those movers and shakers at the table to get us prepared. And they have. To, and the thing is with this bill is it will, they have to report back to the state house. Um, so that way then lawmakers, if we need to adjust laws down at the state house, we can do that in a timely fashion 
so we can continue to be um, number one in that um, movement towards this new way of automobile industry being formed. And when it comes to the future, what other things can we expect from Columbus with regard to electric vehicles as well as climate and what we're going to be doing to address this issue? That's a great question. I think a lot of that's going to be rely upon um, who we um, elect in as our um, next um, governor of our state that has that wherewithal, has that vision um, to, to make sure that we're there. Uh, there was actually a memorandum of understanding that five other states signed on to, and unfortunately, the state of Ohio didn't sign on to that. So I've been calling on Governor DeWine to sign on to that memorandum of understanding with the five other states so that we can continue to be at that forefront. Um, so it's, you know, a lot's going to depend on how we move forward in this state, on uh, being clean, um, you know, and I think of, you know, think of our, our, our river here that goes into our, our lakes. You know, we're talking about cleaning that up. This could be one of those steps that we can be a part of um, in that industry. Well, definitely. And State Representative Lisa Sebecki, thank you so much for joining me to talk about this issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that's this week's Community Focus. Have a great week to lead out.